How to accept your future and let go of the past. Everybody occasionally finds themselves lost in the past. That's all right, too. Because we are emotional human beings. It makes sense that, as life unfolds and we are exposed to a variety of situations, we would occasionally want to hold on to the past. Having said that, longing for a different past does not create a different present, nor does repeatedly playing back the past. The following advice will help you let go of the past and embrace the future if you have trouble moving on from prior experiences, such as ending a relationship, losing your job, or anything in between. Acknowledge. First things first, accept what you cannot change. Letting go and releasing oneself begins with acceptance. You can only influence how your future unfolds by the choices you make today. You cannot undo the past. Accept the people who have contributed to your past as well as your past. Recognize that your circumstances do not define you and accept them as they are. Now is the time to live, so focus on the here and now. Recognize interactions. Second tip, recognize your relationships. It's critical to set aside time to thoughtfully consider your own past without passing judgment. Just watch. Recognize that your past does not define you. Your experiences were shaped by the people, places, and routines in your life, not by you. Accept yourself as you are right now, and accept other people for who they are. Recognizing your past and some of your patterns will enable you to identify the reasons behind your reluctance to let go or engage in certain behaviors. Recognize negative feelings. 3. Recognize negative feelings. Learning to recognize and label your unpleasant feelings is a skill that requires practice. Try to identify the precise emotion you're feeling when it starts to affect you negatively. For instance, if you find yourself feeling envious of your ex when you see them with someone else, identify that feeling as jealousy and the thoughts that are causing it. Don't assign responsibility to anyone else for your feelings. Acknowledge the reasons behind your emotions and consider the events that led you to this point. Assess your level of willingness. Number 4. Assess your ability to let go. Certain emotional wounds seem to go very deep. It appears as though they cannot possibly be released. It's possible that the suffering from the past is casting a permanent shadow on your future. It's simple to become mired in this gloom, but are you prepared to let go of it and go on? If not, attempt to determine what's impeding you. The ability to move on depends on your readiness to make progress and the amount of work you are prepared to put in. Number 5. Acquire the ability to forgive. You cannot move on with your life and will be stuck in the past if you harbor resentment and are unable to forgive. Attempt to release whatever is preventing you from moving forward. You'll come to understand that you're not who other people think you are. Your past, your hurt, or your feelings do not define you. Generally speaking, the things that stand in the way of who we truly want to be are our harmful self-talk and negative self-perceptions. Strong self-esteem is necessary for letting go since it allows us to grow and learn from our experiences. Make up new, happy memories. Sixth, generate fresh happy experiences. Create transformation by focusing on fresh good experiences. Deliberately choose to bring about a positive shift in your life, then take constructive steps to align yourself with the result you want. Start making new memories to take the place of the old ones and begin to love your life as it is now. You may live more in the now when you begin to let go of your negative feelings. Try something scary number 7, try something scary. Many activities are prevented from being done by fear. It keeps us stuck in our comfort zones and limits our minds to possibilities for the future. The majority of our worries confine us and leave us wondering, what if? Fear will lessen the more you push yourself to step outside of your comfort zone. Take on challenges that frighten you, and you'll develop and thrive. Eighth. Accept accountability for your own contentment. Accept responsibility. Never put the cause of your sadness on anyone other than yourself. If you do, you will be directing your attention into bettering yourself rather than toward blaming other people or situations. Accepting responsibility for one's actions is a vital step on the road to happiness. This entails finding methods to be joyful despite the past and the actions of others, as well as avoiding placing the blame for your misery on other people. Accepting responsibility for your actions will enable you to see that your attitude has a greater influence on your happiness than circumstances outside of your control. Communicate what's working. Express what works for you. Number 9. Discover your voice and communicate your ideas and emotions to others. 
You won't hold your feelings within if you keep talking about what works and doesn't work for you. Feeling happy about your relationships and yourself requires you to express yourself. Give up expectations. 10th, let go of your expectations. Anticipations possess the ability to trap us. They make us fearful of certain things. One can dedicate a lifetime to contemplating the potentialities and disappointments of events that did not transpire as planned. You'll discover over time that things rarely go according to plan. In fact, they almost never do. All you can do with the past is acknowledge whatever it is that you are clinging to and then let it go. At that point, everything shifts. Is there anything you find it difficult to let go of? Comment here with your ideas, stories, and observations. We're eager to hear them. Give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends about it if you liked it. It truly is beneficial to us. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos similar to this one. Don't forget to view our other videos. I appreciate you seeing.